Hello, hello, got Miss Zelda here, and we're taking her out on a little adventure. Um, we did pick up on that little trace of anxiety that you were talking about. She is a little antsy, um, and we think it may be that she just needs a little bit more stimulation. Um, you know, I, we know the puzzle toys and, and everything um, is really helpful, but it only goes so far. Um, so we're basically out here trying to get her to tire out a little bit. Um, see how she does with this and at the same time we're also working on her not pulling um, which is key um, because nobody likes a dog pulling at the end of the leash um, we are working relatively close to her home she is a little bit uncomfortable walking without you um, just because it's still a new for her so uh, no need for us to go very far because anytime that you're training the walk is very um, still works her mind the entire time so she's doing very well with this uh, but a few times when we got a little too far she would stop and that's fine we just turn around and keep working um, where we need to work. No need to go far. Good. Getting a lot of attention and focus on Taylor, which is really cool. Very good, very good. It's a good strut. It is not hot out here, nor is it sunny. Um, so we're definitely trying to discourage the behavior where she's like, I don't wanna walk. I'm like, you know, we really need you to get um, some energy out. Good girl. And she's definitely having um, a pretty good time doing this now. She's a little more comfortable moving around. You got it. Yeah, you got Yay. it. Good girl. Yeah, you got, you it. got it. You got you it. You got it. Good. Good. She's definitely really good at offering us her sits, but she is also using them to not go anywhere, so we are just encouraging her to continue moving. Um, part of this is confidence building. She's just unsure, so this is really good activity for her. Um, and all of this bleeds into, you know, her being more tuckered out um, will cement her being less anxious um, when it's time for us to leave or when it's time for you to leave. Um, because we know that it's something that she's been, you know, a little bit racing um, in the home, reluctant to be in the room, which she, again, she did show us today when we, uh, we actually were practicing in your room and in the kitchen. Um, and she was trying to stay closer to the front door. Um, so we were encouraging her to actually practice in those areas instead. Um, so actually, if you have been training her practicing, uh, we actually encourage doing all of that stuff in your bedroom and in your kitchen so that those rooms will become the source, sources of fun and food and, you know, all good things. Good girl. Very good. Very good. All right, now we're going to turn back. Good girl. This is a particularly hard area for her going that way. This is going far from the home. Good. Now this time around, she is much more responsive with returning whenever she pulls at the end of that leash. Um, last time it was like watching a little dog strike go on strike. Um, so this time around, she's definitely making the connection that, you know, pulling is really not getting her places. Um, and she is returning a little bit simpler. And the biggest thing here is that we just don't budge. When she pulls, we will not move no matter how much she wants to go in the other direction. Good girl. We are going to leave her with a puzzle toy of some sort to play with before we leave. Um, and make sure that she's nice and tired. Good job. Um, another factor that may be bleeding into a little bit of that anxiety is that the 4th of July is coming up and you may or may not have been hearing uh, fireworks. They are already being sold. Um, and even though you can't hear them, it doesn't mean that she can't. So that could potentially be affecting her behavior. Um, we did see that you had music playing. Um, I would probably recommend that you play it just a little bit louder to see if we can drown out some of those external noises while you're gone. Um, and hopefully that'll help everything out. But mm -hmm. Ultimately, a little bit more exercise, just training in general, um, and practicing with her being alone, and practicing when you don't need it. This is really key. Uh, practicing with her being alone while you're still home and when you don't actually have to leave is going to be really good for her. Hey, Blackie. Hi, Blackie. Hi. All right, well, that is Miss Zelda's session today. As you can see, she just threw herself on the carpet. Um, so nice, tuckered out, um, nice and mentally stimulated. Look at that leg can't stand it. She's too cute. 